guys. It's LJ here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are an existing subscriber, thank you very much. So, I've got a small haul today from Every Crafts a Pound. Now, usually, I say usually, previously, when I have purchased from Every Crafts a Pound, I have done, I've waited and waited and I've done like a £40 order because then you got free shipping. So I was doing planning to do that this time. However, they've changed it. You now don't get free shipping until £50. Which okay, apparently this is not easy to open today. So I thought £50 was a bit much to spend, to be completely honest with you. Um let me just like that. I was planning on 40 at a push, um, which didn't really work. I wasn't going to go to 50. So I didn't even spend the 40 that I was going to. But I needed to order now because there was a paper pad that I desperately, desperately, desperately wanted. And I had it previously and I missed it because I didn't have the 40 pounds to spend. I went back on because I check it every week or so and they had the paper pad so I was like do you know what I'm buying this no matter what we may get a cat in a moment I'm not sure if you can spot there's the head and the tail come to inspect what's going on have you come to see smudge yeah no doubt she'll pop up in a second so I was so desperate for this paper pad I've wanted it for ages um to the point where I even put it in my basket on Amazon, but it was like six, seven pounds even on Amazon, so I decided not to even get it on Amazon. So we'll start off with I got the six by six secret garden pack. And let me check my prices so you can see. I'm fairly sure. Mm, yeah, pretty much everything was a pound. So the secret garden six by six was one pound. I also got in the back here the secret garden 12 by 12 which was also a pound so i got both of those i got two lots of um double-sided tape this is nine mil so just under a centimeter um and this was two for a pound i got the hey baby sticker pack because i do quite a lot of baby albums and I love this hey baby paper um which was a pound I got the hey baby decoupage pack which I do already have I've already got the stickers as well but another one's always good because I do make a lot of baby albums and decoupage is a lot easier for me to do with my hands then I got a couple of stamps Is that one of the stamps yes so I got <laughs> I got this one keep calm and craft on I thought that was absolutely brilliant um yeah that's just that was a pound i love that and then i got this sort of old-fashioned sewing machine again a pound so i got those as stamps i then got some dies because um they were relatively cheap she says so i got the stork stork carrying the basket again i do quite a lot of baby albums so that would be really cute. The stalk was three pounds. I then got the pram. Again, for my baby albums, I thought that'd be really nice on the cover or something. It was again, three pounds. I got the couple, because I've been, well, I've not been asked. <laughs> I'm going to make my own wedding album. <laughs> uh, I've asked myself to make it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having one of those days today. <laughs> Um, so there's the couple one that was again three pounds and then I got some Dovecraft A4 premium mirror card um, just in plain mirror in silver which was in gun metal this is so not silver it's gun metal that's why I got it I was wondering why I got silver again um, and this was two pound fifty which again isn't the cheap 
cheap cheap but I don't think I've seen it cheap anywhere else so I'm still fine with that and then this box is going to hold the one that I really like um, if I can get into it because can I find scissors today no I can't find anything today I'm struggling with life today as you probably have discovered with all my burbling and everything else so and I've opened this upside down look at me go well, I suppose that is the secret of what the paper pad is. Ah! Right. So, I got... I'm assuming these are the two together. No, then. Okay, so let's start. So, I got Paper Addicts Viva Forever, a 12 by 12, which is 24 double-sided sheets. Um, I'm not going to flick through because you can see them all on the covers. Um, but again, this was a pound. In fact, what I'll do, I'll flick through all the paper pads at the end. I then got this lovely Once Upon a Dream, which was again a pound. Stay. I got this Paper Addicts. This is the one I wanted. Game on. So this is amazing for male male masculine cards, for ladies who like sports, for um, events, for you know congratulations cards for winning something. So you've got all sorts on there. I will go through that with you. Um, so I got two of that in 12 by 12 because I was like, yeah, I want that desperately. And then also got the Forever and Always. I was, I thought I got the game on in a 6 by 6 Maybe they didn't have it. It's not on my list, so I'm guessing I didn't. So let's have a flick through of these. So we'll start with this one. So Forever and Always, quite a romantic -y one. Um... I'll just flick through the ends for you. So we've got a floral with stripes on the back. That's two of each. So then we've got a thicker stripe with these hearts. A selection of hearts and some flowers. These hearts, and I, I like these strips because you can cut a nice strip there for on a card. Um, just a plain one with these gorgeous florals on. Then... Bigger and smaller of pretty much the same flower actually on the front and back. That'd be really nice for like a pocket envelope or um, a like a, a triple fold card or something where you see both sides of the card. Those two are really nice together. Then we've got Happily Ever After. That is upside down for you, sorry. Um, and these leaves. And then we've got Small Heart Polka Dots and then it says Fall in Love in three different um, fonts, which is lovely got XOXO with some hearts instead of some of the O's and then these heart wreaths with flowers on and then we're entering our single sided pages so we've got Forever and Always two of those, oh no not single sided, that's just a very pale very pale colour on the back of the Forever and Always polka dots with love in a heart and then the last one is this oh I like that sort of marbly effect with the XOXO so that's the forever and always. I'm going to leave the game on till last because it's my favourite. So we'll go through Once Upon a Dream. So we've got Butterfly in a floral wreath with some flowers on the back. We have got some dancers with little rows of hearts. We've got oh, some ballerinas. No, yeah, those ballerinas as well, but with yellow. Some ballerinas in purple um, against some butterflies. Oh, that butterfly is lovely. Um, we've got sort of a doodly scribble line with some florals. I like that one. Then we've got bows and purple ballerinas on the yellowy greeny background. Florals and polka dots. Ballet shoes and hearts. Butterflies and follow your dreams. That is lovely for, God, for anything. Moving schools, moving house, starting a new job. That's lovely. Another bordery type one and some bigger butterflies. Butterflies on yellow and some polka dots. Hearts and butterflies both on the lilac background. And then ballet shoes and butterflies versus the big butterflies. I really like that one. 
Viva Forever. So we have got like a pom pom trim and some zigzag designs. We've got some more like bunting, festival bunting, and some stripey dots. I like that one. Then we've got, got some coloured polka dots in the blue and the zigzags. We've got cacti and a green dotty background. We've got some more striped um, like edge pieces and then just a yellow chevron pattern. We have got some more of these like strips you could cut off. So you've got arrows, a design, the cacti and then this sort of I can't think what the name is for this type of design. Got that one. <laughs> More cacti. I like the cacti with the streamers. <clears throat> or with the pom-pom trim, sorry. And then some cube design. Then we've got some arrows. And some stripes that say good vibes. We've got a more sort of Mexican-esque print, I guess. But in strips. Good to cut up. And then the arrows. It's a nice background piece. We've got more cacti on orange. And then some more chevrons. We have got blue diamonds with the cacti in. And then some sort of flag parts, uh, strips, possibly like bunting. And then the last one, we've got these larger cacti on the pink and some pink triangles on the green. That is those. I'll flip through the large secret garden, because obviously the small is the same, just the pattern is smaller. Which is um, good when you're doing multiple shaped things. So, how am I going to do this one? Because this isn't attached. So, I do it there. Can you see? Yes. So, we've got. Oh, are they single? They're single sided. Thirty six sheets, three of twelve designs. I'm guessing these are single sided. So let's look at it this way then, that's easier isn't it? So you've got this nice one which would be lovely to cut up and have like toppers for your um, cards and things. You've got those toppers and then we've got this green leaf, um, not leaf, herbs. So you've got tarragon, sage, bay leaves, rosemary which is nice. Then we've got this gorgeous rose page. Then we've got birds. I love those. Again, they'd be lovely cut out and put on things. And think because you've got three of each page, you can do that quite easily. Then we've got this lovely purple check. I love that one. Then we have some... Hmm. Wellingtons and watering cans and pots. I really love that one, actually. That, I think, is my favourite so far. I like the purple check, but that, I think, is my favourite. Then we've got some purple effect. Purple effect? Purple backed herbs. And it has got writing on. Lavender. And then the name in, I'm assuming, Latin. And then a, a description of lavender. Really like that. Still not my favourite, though. Then we've got the forks. And trowels and spades. Then we've got this sort of decorative one as a nice backing or border. We've got another one that you can cut apart as toppers or you just use as a background. So it says just for you and with love. Then we have, oh, it's a lovely, I love how big these are. These are going to be lovely to cut apart. And that one's got rose hips. This must be a rose hip flower, I'm assuming, with a little definition. And then the final one we've got is this sort of um, leaf foliage effect. So that's the secret garden. And obviously that comes in big and in small. So these will be exactly the same designs, just as you can see, a lot smaller. The images are this, uh, shrunk down to fit. Sorry, words today, as I said. Right, now the one that I bought the whole lot for <laughs> was my game on. I love, I was so desperately in need of this. So this is a 12 by 12, 24 double-sided sheets, 24 designs, 200 GSM. So this is a nice thick one as well. So we've got some basketballs and hoops and then a sort of um, 
hexagon pattern. Let me just count the sides there to make sure. And we've got baseball bats and balls with this checkered. We've got bicycles and this um, red, white and blue and grey, I guess that is a grey stripe. We've got quite like this one, pluses and minuses, with the flags, sort of like, um, are they Formula One flags? That's what they remind me of. Then we've got guys playing football and some goals. Unfortunately, it is all guys playing football, which is a shame, but you've got the goals. Then we've got golf, two different golf ones. So you've got the tee, the green, the hole with the flag and the, the club, and then you've got the golf ball on the other side. Then we have archery, with the arrows in the uh, targets, and then this star background. Then we've got tickets, so admit one, ticket to the big game, championship. And then tennis balls and tennis rackets with the net. We have got swimmers. And uh, we have male and female swimmers, which is nice. And then this sort of um, starred polka dot background. We have some cricket. We have the wickets, the ball and bat. And then this sort of very subtle red polka dot background. And then we've got the cups. which Some say winner, some are plain round. Then we have trophies. Some of them say winner, some of them don't. And we have the gold tags there. So again, a lot of these, you could cut out some of them and use them as toppers, which is nice. Then our final one, we've got this, come on team, go, no, come on, go team, winner, good times, ready, set, play, goal. That's all of them. And then this one with the variety of different balls. So that is the game on. So uh, thank you for joining me for my haul from Every Crafts Pound today. Um, I think most of these, I ordered these Monday, so a week ago. So hopefully a lot of these will still be available on their website. So yeah, thank you very much for spending time with me today. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this and check out some of my other videos. I will see you all soon. Keep crafting. Bye.